What is up, everybody? Nick Fiore here. This is the Fiore Station YouTube channel right here on YouTube.com. This is the NXT UK review from last week, NXT UK, on January 7th of 2021. I know this is a week late, and I wanted to get this in also before NXT UK today, later on this afternoon. But did want to talk about NXT UK last week uh, real quick and give my thoughts and opinions thoughts and opinions on it on the show itself and the matches we saw the uh so the newsworthy note of last week's show on NXT UK was Benjamin Carter finally making his debut for in WWE for NXT UK Benjamin Carter making his official debut in WWE for NXT UK on the Noam Dar sessions the current new uh talk show that Noam Dar currently has right now, the Supernova, no, the Noam Dar Supernova Sessions. So that was that, the super, so, so the Supernova Sessions with Noam Dar on NXT UK last week, and he had his guest be Ben Carter, who he was calling uh, Benjamin Carpenter, which uh, I LOL'd, which was, which was hilarious. Like, I chuckled. And then Ben Carter corrected it as Ben Carter and all that other stuff. And Noam Dar's the heel, so it was a good. I thought it was good. That uh, Supernova se session. Now, I'm not a fan of talk shows. I'm not, and they need to get rid of them. But Noam Dar, he's a good wrestler. And Noam Dar, he's just entertaining. And I'm liking what he's doing right now in NXT UK. Right now is Noam Dar. And Noam Dar, and, and, and Noam Dar can wrestle too. He's not bad at all in the ring either. So he can work inside that squared circle as Noam Dar. But uh, the Supernova sessions, uh, I mean, if you're going to have talk shows, you got to book them like what you did with NXT UK last week. Miz TV is a completely different story. That That is Miz TV. That's not funny at all. That's not even that's not even entertaining whatsoever. And Miz and Morrison have been booked like jobbers on Raw lately as of late also. So that's another thing. Miz and Morrison, they're losers because of shitty Raw booking. And... Noam Dar, his his supernova sessions are actually entertaining, and he can wrestle. And it's not all campy comedy with Noam Dar. It's a focus a tiny bit on his entertainment aspect, and and most of the times fo a focus with Noam Dar inside the ring. And I expect Noam Dar and Ben Carter sometime in the near future in NXT UK, which and that should be really good in my opinion. And then we had the supernova session with Jordan Devlin interrupting Noam Dar and Ben Carter, Jordan Devlin saying he's the best Irish wrestler in the world and he's the current Cruiserweight champ and he'll defend the Cruiserweight title and against anyone at any time. Then Ben Carter says he wants the challenge. Jordan Devlin accepts. And we get Jordan Devlin and Ben Carter as the main event of NXT UK last week for the Cruiserweight title, Ben Carter's first match, his debut match in NXT UK for the brand a week ago against the Irish Ace Jordan Devlin. Really good stuff. We're going to talk about really good stuff and really good match with Carter and Ben Carter and Jordan Devlin on NXT UK. A week ago, really good stuff with those two last week on NXT UK in the main event, the Cruiserweight title. A week ago, we're going to talk about that shortly. And we're going to get started really, really shortly with NXT UK. And we might as well just get started right now. Uh, follow me on Twitter at FioriNick579 over on Twitter. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Nicholas Fiori 2014 over on my Instagram page. Follow me if you like. And follow me on Facebook at Nicholas period Fiori period 31 over on my Facebook page. Add me as a friend if you want. The option's always there for you guys. It's not required for you guys, but the option is always there for you. So follow me on Twitter and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And make sure you hit this like button as well for this very video. I would love to hit 30, 30 to 50 subscribers, at least for the Furious Nation channel right here on YouTube for the year of 2021. My goal for 2021, right here for the Furious Nation channel, I would really love to hit at least 30 to 50, I would really love to hit on the channel at least 30 to 50 subscribers. I would love that. And it would be greatly appreciated if you would hit that like button, it would be greatly appreciated. And I really want to hit 30 to 50 subscribers this year for the channel for 2021. 
show would be greatly appreciated, guys. So hit that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. And be sure to turn on that bell for all notifications. So you guys are aware where so you guys are aware whenever I upload from the Fiore Station channel and onto YouTube.com. So be so be sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on that bell for all notifications, not some, all notifications. So turn on the bell for all not so so turn on that bell for all notifications. Subscribe to the Fiore Station YouTube channel and, and make sure to hit the like button. Smash that like button. Superman punch that right button. Su super kick that right button. Be sure to hit that super kick that like button. Make sure to hit that like button for this very video. And let's get started, man. We're going to talk NXT UK right now. Let's get started talking about NXT UK. So NXT UK starts off with a match. First match of the show of NXT UK a week ago on January 7th of 2021. The first NXT UK episode of 2021 of the new year. First match to kick off the show. We get a one-on-one -on -one women's division match between the fashionista Jenny and Piper Nevin with the winner of this match getting an NXT UK Women's Championship match against Kaylee Ray sometime in the future, in the near future. So Ginny versus Piper Niven, these two have had history as these two have had some beef as of late in NXT UK when it was uh, first originally when NXT UK returned after a six-month hiatus. The second, like when NXT UK, like obviously with the COVID-19 pandemic, Start when it started in 2020, NXT UK went on a hiatus, and then NXT UK, NXT UK went on a hiatus for six months, and they came back after six months in September. Then that's and then they had that NXT UK episode, the first one back in six months after their hiatus on NXT UK. Did that confrontation in ring with Kaylee Ray and Piper Niven, saying that the next week they were going to wrestle each other for the NXT UK Women's Title. And then the next week when they fought each other for the title, Kaylee Ray found a way to found a way to retain, and Kaylee Ray retained the NXT UK Women's title. And Kaylee Ray was saying that Piper Niven didn't have what it took. To, and then Kaylee Ray was saying that Piper blew it in the title match against each other, and Piper had the opportunity to beat her, and she didn't do it, calling Piper let, pipe, call, calling Piper Niven a letdown and all. And then there was event. Then that and then Piper Niven. And Kaylee Ray had another rematch for the title, but this time on a false count anywhere match weeks ago on NXT UK. Another week before their another week before their false count anywhere match on NXT UK for the NXT UK Women's Championship. It was Jenny versus uh, Aaliyah James, I believe. Jenny defeated Aaliyah James, and Jenny was got the promo. Piper Niven comes out, then Kaylee Ray comes out, and Piper and and, and then Kaylee Ray said to Piper that. She, she thought she didn't have what it took to beat Kaylee Ray for the title. Calling with Kaylee Ray Piper Niven an ultimate letdown. And then Piper Niven had a steel chair. She beat Jenny. And then Piper Niven had the steel chair and she beat Jenny and Leah James with the chair. And then she, and then Piper Niven does the McNutri driver to Jenny on the steel chair to Jenny inside the ring. And then the week afterwards, the next episode of NXT UK, the next week, then they 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 they, they, they then had the Pulsar Anywhere match for the NXT UK women's title between Kaylee Ray and Piper Niven, and Kaylee Ray retained and Kaylee Ray retained after Jenny cost Piper Niven the championship when Jenny had a steel chair and she hit Piper Niven in the back with it, backstage area, causing uh, Kaylee Ray to fall on top of Piper Niven with Kaylee Ray retaining. Weeks ago on NXT UK with the false card anywhere for the NXT UK women's title between Kayla Ray and Piper Niven back in NXT UK weeks ago. And so then that caused Jenny to put Piper Niven in the hospital for a little bit after after that. And then and and and, and then Jenny and Piper Niven have been feuding against each other in NXT UK as of late with all that. And, and 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 then with and, and with all that, and because of all that, and, be, and with that, and because of all that, that's why Jenny and Piper Niven have been feuding in NXT UK as of late. That's why Jenny and Piper Niven have been feuding in NXT UK as of. That's why Jenny and Piper Niven have been feuding against each other in NXT UK as of late. 
Ginny by the Niven. And then we eventually get, and then Jenny versus Piper Niven, we eventually get it. We got it last week with Jenny versus Piper Niven a week ago with the winner of this match facing Kaylee Ray sometime in the near future for the NXT UK women's title against Kaylee Ray. So this match here, we had uh, Jenny making her entrance. Jenny made, makes her entrance. The best news that Jenny makes her entrance. Then Piper Niven makes her entrance, but she storms down to the ring. And then the bell rings. The referee rings the bell. And then after the referee immediately rings the bell, Nevin then floors the the fashionista Jenny with a bunch with a flurry of punches, and then yeah, Jenny answering back with one of her own barrage of, of offense. But Nevin took Jenny out with a huge clothesline, which looked nasty. Then the action spills onto the out on out to the floor and outside of the ring, but Jenny then uses the ring post to gain the advantage against Piper Nevin. I get. Against against the Scotland native Piper Niven. Then we get back in the ring, and Ginny starts to maintain the upper hand, starts to gain control over Piper Niven. Is Ginny? Ginny starts to be in the driver's seat, starts to get control over Piper Niven in this match. And Ginny in this match starts to target. Niv- and then Ginny in this match, she tries targeting Niven's right arm. She works on Piper Niven's right arm, trying working on Nevin's right arm which is smart which is a smart heel move working on a body part and all and that and then and then Jenny tried to lock in the octopus stretch on tried to lock in an octopus stretch on Piper Nevin aka the Black Widow the octopus stretch Jenny tries to lock that in on Jenny tries to lock that in on Piper Nevin but Nevin powers out of it then Niven manages to drop Jenny with a big slam. And when she's locked in another submission mold. And then Joseph Collins, not Joseph, no, Joseph Connor, sorry, my bad. Uh, jo- apologies, sorry about that, guys. Joseph Connors, bleh, sorry. Uh, can't talk. Sometimes you have one of these days where I can't speak. So I apologize for that, guys. So Joseph Connors comes out during this match and he shows up at ringside and he's on the apron his intentions were unclear so joseph connor's interferes during the during the middles match and then niven hits jenny with a big suplex and it sends her and it sends her to the out and it sends her out of the ring and then connor's jump jumped the harm's way and saved the fashionista from a cannonball from piper niven and then, so this, so Joseph, so Joseph Connors does this, and this distracts Piper Niven, and, th- and then this allows Jenny to pick up the win, and so this, so then this allows Jenny to drive Niven back first into the ring, and th- and then Niven counters, and then and, and then Niven counter, and then Piper Niven countered a crossbody, but but Connors once again interfered, and then he. And then Joseph Connors grabbed Niven's feet and helped Jenny roll up Niven for the victory. And one, two, three. And Jenny defeats Piper Niven and is now the number one contender for Kaylee Ray's NXT UK Women's Championship. And it will be Jenny versus Kaylee Ray for the NXT UK Women's Championship in the very near future. Uh, decent match here. I mean, Jenny's gotten better in the ring. Last time I watched her, Piper Niven's no slouch either, but uh, but Joseph Connors with Jenny, I'm not sure what to think about it. Uh, I'll give it a chance and I'll see where it goes out. But Jenny winning here, I think, is the right move because Piper Niven and Kaylee Ray, it's been done before, and all. And Jenny and Kaylee Ray's a fresh match now. Both Jenny and Kaylee Ray are heels. So it's but so it's like who do you cheer for? I I understand that. Now now yes that's the case, but but Kaylee Ray Piper Niven it's been done it's been done already. Why would you do that again? Piper Niven winning what Piper Niven beating Jenny would have made no sense because Piper Niven versus Kaylee Ray has been done before. Jenny and Kaylee Ray is at least a fresh Kaylee Ray versus Jenny is a fresh. Jenny versus Kaylee Ray is a fresh match. 
and Jenny versus Kaylee Ray for the NXT UK Women's Title. I I I don't expect Jenny to win. Jenny, I don't I do not expect Jenny to win. I don't expect Jenny to win. In fact, Jenny should not beat Kaylee Ray. Jenny should not be Ka- Jenny should not beat Kaylee Ray for the NXT UK Women's Title. The one to take the title off, the one to beat Kaylee Ray for the NXT UK Women's Title is Eva Valkyrie, who we saw a video package of after this matchup here with Jenny and Piper Niven. We saw we had an Eva Valkyrie video package after Jenny versus Piper Niven here at last week on NXT UK. So, so Eva Valkyrie is so Jenny will so it'll be Kaylee Ray versus Jenny for the NXT UK Women's Title. Kaylee Ray will retain. Kaylee Ray will beat Jenny and retain. And then we're going to get Kaylee Ray and Aoife Valkyrie for the title where Kaylee Ray drops the belt to Aoife Valkyrie. I think that's what they do. And I think that's the right move. But a decent match here with Jenny and Piper Niven. Uh, Jenny going over Piper Niven is the right move because of Piper Niven versus Kaylee Ray being done already. Being, because of Kaylee Ray versus Piper Niven being done already. And Jenny and Jenny and Kaylee Ray. Yeah, two heels against each other, and but at least it's a fresh match, in my opinion. And we all and we all know Kaylee Ray's not losing to Jenny. Jenny's not gonna beat Kaylee Ray. Kaylee 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 Ray will beat Jenny before Kaylee Ray Kaylee Ray will beat Jenny before Kaylee Ray gets the Eve of Valkyrie. I think that's where they go with this. I think that's where they're headed. I think that's where they're headed. And Aoife Valkyrie, very impressive. And I expect, and uh, Kaylee Ray, uh, it's like, even Aoife Valkyrie's on the rise. And and, and e- Kaylee Ray and Aoife Valkyrie, I do think you need fans for that as well, also, in my opinion. Jenny, Kaylee Ray versus Aoife Valkyrie. And so Kaylee Ray versus Jenny, I don't mind this. And, and, and again, I like Jenny. She's gotten better in the ring, in my opinion, but but Jenny, but but I don't ex, but I do not expect Jenny to beat Kaylee Ray. In fact, Jenny should not beat Kaylee Ray. Kaylee Ray versus Jenny, no reason to take the no reason to take the title off Kaylee Ray. She's really good. She's doing really good right now. Why would you take the title off her when you have someone, when you have somebody else, when you have when you have someone who's doing good as a champion. You don't take the title off them when you have somebody else who is when you have somebody else who is close enough or better than the one currently holding a title, then that's when you take the belt off of someone and give it to that somebody else who is close enough or better than the one who's holding the title. When you like when you and it's it's like when you have somebody else who's close enough when you have someone like, like, like when you have someone else, like when you have somebody else that's close enough to Kaylee Ray or better than Kaylee Ray, AKA Aoife Valkyrie with, as far as like momentum goes and like on the rise, which and Aoife Valkyrie is on the rise right now. Then that's when you take the title off of Kaylee Ray. Jenny is not the one to beat Kaylee Ray. She's not as much as I like Jenny, as much as I like Jenny, Jenny beating Kaylee Ray is not the right call. Kaylee Ray versus Jenny. Kaylee Ray will retain. No reason to take the title off Kaylee Ray. But a decent match here with Jenny and Piper Niven here on NXT UK last week. Decent match with Jenny versus Piper Niven. Jenny versus Piper Niven last week, NXT UK, decent match. Then we had the video package for Ethan Valkyrie, like I just mentioned moments ago. And then we go backstage. Pretty, pretty deadly. Pretty, pretty deadly is cut. Pretty deadly is cut in the promo on Gallus. And they called. And they said they called. And they say that they say that Gallus is scared of them because uh, because like you know they said they're gonna beat Gallus for the NXT UK Tag Team Titles the challengers. The challengers and, and then pretty deadly declared. That they're coming for the NXT UK Tag Team Titles against Gallus. Uh, pretty deadly. I'm not sold on yet, but it looks like for the NXT UK Tag Titles, 
pretty deadly pretty soon versus Gallus pretty soon on NXT UK for the NXT UK tag team titles. Gallus will retain. Um, Pretty deadly is not going to win, but Gallus will probably make him look good. Should be a decent match. Hope, hopefully it's a decent match. I'm not sold on pretty deadly yet, but Gallus should be able to carry them to a good match, and it should be a good match on NXT UK in the near future between pretty deadly and Gallus on NXT UK for the NXT UK tag team championships. Then, I, like I said, Aoife Valkyrie, promo package or vignette, saying that Aoife Valkyrie is chasing perfection so she can soar as high as the birds. It's a good promo package. Then we get another vignette right afterwards of Tyler Bate recapping his really good match not long ago against a kid who's wrestling Walter today on NXT UK for the NXT UK Championship. Should be should be a really good match. I'm looking forward to that tonight. So, Walt. So so I mean Walt. I mean Walter's. I mean A Kid's not going to beat Walter. A Kid won't beat Walter t- today. But A Kid is damn sure going to make you believe. So, A Kid A Kid will damn sure make you believe today against Walter. The match with Walter today. But Walter versus A Kid today on NXT UK should be really good. And I'm and I'm definitely going to watch it. I'm definitely looking forward to that today on NXT UK with. A-Kid versus Walter. Or as Adam and I would call Walter, Volater. Or as Adam and I would call him, Volater. Volater. Anyways. Anyways, so. So then Tyler Bate in this vignette then states that he realized that wrestling is an art with storytelling, etc., etc. Tyler Bate then says that in his mind, he said that if he is authentic and real, he will accomplish great things, Tyler Bate himself, in NXT UK. Uh, decent promo package. Uh, hopefully we see Tyler Bate again soon. He's really good at what he does. He's one of my favorites in NXT UK, personally. And I, and he had a really good match on NXT UK not long ago against A-Kid. Really good stuff. And uh, would like to see Tyler Bate again back again soon again next UK hopefully and that's that I don't know who Tyler Bate feuds with though though I think he's probably feuding right now at Sam Gradwell I think but let's see what happens so then we get Noam Dar the Supernova session with guest Ben Carter the uh, Dar introduced Carter as Carpenter, Benjamin, or Ben Carpenter. Then Dar asked uh, Ben Carter about the woodwork and shelf designs. <laughs> and I chuckled at that, man. No, oh, no, I'm Dar, man. I tell you, not only good in the ring, but he's, uh, he de- he's, uh, no, I'm Dar, good heel, but he, uh, he definitely uh, knows how to entertain. But I mean, and like I said earlier in this video, wrestling wrestler talk shows need to go away but the super but but noam dar but noam dar he's he's just so entertaining uh he really is and uh it's like he knows how to get underneath your skin it's like he's just as a heel he's just he just like he's he's just entertaining man and it's and, and it's not all campy comedy with noam dar it's not unlike monday night raw with ms tv because that Ms. TV, like Ms. TV, that's garbage. Ms. TV, that's totally unfunny. Supernova sessions with Noam Dar, the complete opposite. The Ms. Ms. TV's not funny, but Supernova sessions with Noam Dar, like I, I, those, like Ms. TV and Supernova sessions with Noam Dar, it's like night and day. Very big difference between the two. But Noam Dar, entertaining, in my opinion. And it's not all campy comedy. And Noam Dar can wrestle. Noam Dar can actually work. So that's that's what I got to say about that. So Supernova Sessions, next segment. Noam Dar with guest Ben Carter. Noam Dar, uh, Noam Dar calls Ben, Car- ben Carter, Ben Carpenter, Dar then asked him about the woodwork and shelf designs. Then Carter corrected him. 
with Ben Carter. So this, and then Carter then states that he wants to face the the best of the best here in NXT in wrestling, and NXT UK is the perfect place to do that," said Ben Carter. And then the NXT Cruiserweight Champion Jordan Devlin then comes out. He interrupts the segment and he asks Noam Dar why he's not the guest on the on on the Supernova Sessions. Carter then complimented Devlin and his accomplishments. Then and then Carter and then Carter challenged Devlin to a match for the NXT Cruiserweight title next week. Then Devlin offered. So Carter. So Carter challenged. So Carter wanted to challenge Devlin to a match for an NXT Cruiserweight title the next week on NXT UK. But then Devlin offered to face Carter tonight instead. And Carter and Devlin both agreed. And, and, then, and then they wrestled later on in the night last week on NXT UK. And then Sid Scala enters the scene. He makes the fa- match official for the main event of NXT UK last week. NXT Cruiserweight Championship in the main event of NXT UK last week. Jordan Devlin defended the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. The Irish Chase Jordan Devlin defended the NXT Cruiserweight title against Ben Carter. So that was that. It's a good segment here, and we'll talk about the match in a little bit, which I thought was a really good match on for a main event match for NXT UK a week ago. We'll talk about that shortly. And I, don't, and I don't want to make this video too long here. I don't want to get this in before NXT UK today. So I don't want to be too long for you here. For, so I don't So I don't want to be too long here for you guys. So that. And then we get the next segment. And, and, then, we, and then we get the announcement. And then following this, we get an announcement saying that and then after this development and after this Noam Dar Supernova session segment, after that segment, we then get an announcement where the next week's NXT UK, which is today, uh, NXT UK championship match, Walter defending against a kid, the current Heritage Cup champion, a kid. So Walter, a kid. So NXT UK title, Walter versus a kid tonight, NXT UK should be really good. Like I just mentioned moments ago, I'm really looking forward to that. Should be a brutal match. Should be really good. So I expect Walter to retain today. But a kid's definitely going to look great in there against Walter. So that's my take on that. Looking forward to Walter versus a kid today on NXT UK. And then we go backstage. Haley Ray's has is is interviewed, or she's not interviewed, but she's and she's doing the I think that cell phone thing where you like record yourself I think selfie thing I think is what they call it Kaylee Ray does this self interview or whatever with that kind of a thing like this and all with recording herself on her phone I believe it was with her selfie herself interviewing herself I think with her phone I believe if if I'm not mistaken something like that it, that's what it looked like to me and Kaylee Ray does this so so we go backstage with Kaylee Ray and she issues a warning to Jenny and she said that and she said that her title is is not going anywhere and and then we get Dave Master versus Saxton Huxley next on NXT UK uh nothing special here uh pretty much it got you had a bit of a squash here you had Luthez uh, Luth Prez from Huxley, which was decent, but that was about it. Uh, Dave Mastiff uh, hits his cannonball in the corner. Spl- uh, Splatting Sax Huxley like an ant. One, two, three, off the cannonball. And Dave Mastiff beats Saxon Huxley. Uh, not a bad match, but a little bit of a filler squash. Like nothing. It's not, it wasn't bad, but not too too special but Dave Mastiff over Saxon Huxley is the right call not really sold on Saxon Huxley right now but Dave Mastiff's definitely one of my favorites for the men in NXT UK currently and has been since the launch of NXT UK's and uh Dave Mastiff's really impressive and really athletic and agile for a guy his size he does uh that he's like he does some like as big as Dave Mastiff is he like he's very agile he does like 
like he knows how to move. He knows how to like like he knows how to work. He knows how to wrestle. They've mastered the uh, they've mastered that ring. It's like he's not that big guy in that ring that just wrestles like Braun Strowman, who all does is run fast. Wee-hoo! Because you know Braun Strowman runs fast. I'm not sure if you realize that. And that's all Braun Strowman does is run fast. So, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, it's like Dave Mastiff in that ring. He's not that big man that wrestles like a Braun Strowman. Dave Mastiff is is very agile inside that ring. Dave Mastiff's very agile inside that squared circle. It's like a jumping, running, standing, like a jumping, standing drop kick. Dave Mastiff, he's just really athletic and very agile, as big as Dave Mastiff is. For like, what, I think like 300 pounds, 320 pounds for a big man. Very athletic as hell is Dave Mastiff. And Braun Strowman, I've said it before and I'm going to say it again, Braun Strowman's not a monster. Who are the real monsters? Lance Archer, Wardlow, Luchasaurus, Brian Cage, Raquel Gonzalez, and Dave Mastiff. Those six names I just mentioned that are not Braun Strowman, those are the real monsters. Though, like Dave Mastiff, Raquel Gonzalez, Lance Archer, Brian Cage, Luchasaurus, and Wardlow, those are monsters, not Braun Strowman. Don't at me. Don't at me. So Dave Mastiff goes over Sex and Huxley, the right call. And then... And 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 uh, and and, pro- and, I, and probably in the future in NXT UK, we'll probably get Dave Mastiff versus uh, newcomer NXT UK uh, Rampage Brown probably in the near future in NXT UK. It should be interesting, to say the least. So, uh, I'm I'm interested on that. So, hopefully it's good. But I'm very interested. But I'm very interested to see where that goes. So that's that. Let me get a vignette with Walter hyping up his match today against uh, a kid. And then and then they show a video of a, a kid's uh, remarkable journey to becoming the first ever NXT UK Heritage Cup champion, which a kid beat Trent Seven to become the inaugural NXT, when which a kid beat Trent Seven to become the inaugural NXT UK Heritage Cup champion. And that was that. And then, and then after this, another match was then confirmed for NXT UK for today. Tyler Bate versus Sam Gradwell. Should be decent. I mean, Tyler Bate should be able to carry Sam Gradwell to a good match if there's anyone that... I, I mean, if there's anyone that can carry Sam Gradwell to a really good match, it's Tyler Bate, in my opinion. But it should be really good today at for NXT UK. Should be really good today with NXT UK with Sam Gradwell against uh Tyler Bate. Should be good, hopefully. Hopefully. And then we get the main event for the NXT Cruiserweight title. Ben Carter versus Jordan Devlin for the NXT Cru- NXT UK Cruiserweight title. We had Devlin starting out the match as the aggressor, and then he threw Carter to the ground. Then they, then the both competitors start to execute a beautiful wrist lock sequence. Carter then took the champion down with a snap headlock takedown, but Devlin slips out. He, and then he whipped the challenger into the ropes in order to gain some breathing room. Carter's belly was then on full display, but Devlin stops his momentum with a colossal Uranagi along with the, uh, Standing moonsault combo that Devlin does after the Uranagi, which is which looks really which is which looks beautiful. Love love that spot from Jordan Devlin where he does the Uranagi followed by a standing moonsault from Jordan Devlin. That combo from Jordan Devlin, really good stuff, man. So like when Jordan Devlin, the the Irish Chase Jordan Devlin, when he calls himself the best Irish wrestler in the world, one of the best Irish wrestlers in the world, Jordan Devlin is one of the best Irish wrestlers in the world, and Jordan Devlin is. Is definitely right in that in that in that one. Is Jordan Devlin? Jordan Devlin really, really, 
Jordan Devon, probably one of the best guys that they have currently on the roster for NXT UK, hands down. Probably one of the best that they have right now in NXT UK, hands down, in my opinion. And I'm a fan of Jordan Devlin. He's really, really good at what he does. He uh, He's good in the ring, and he can talk. He, I, 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 like he's very good on the microphone. He cuts really good promos, and he backs it up inside that ring. So, big fan of Jordan Devlin, what he does. And I'm liking what he's doing right now in NXT UK. And he's only going to get better, believe me. So then Carter then takes down the champion with a snap headlock takedown, but Devlin slips out. He then whipped Ben Carter into the ropes in order to gain some breathing room. Then we saw the agility of Ben Carter being on full display, which is really nice to see. The second time, and this, and I've only watched Benjamin Carter two times now, the first one with Benjamin Carter wrestling in AEW, then the second one with Ben Carter now in NXT UK. And Ben Carter trained by Seth Rollins, and when he had all these, and he had when he had all these people highly praising Ben Carter, they were not kidding. They were right when they said Ben Carter, like the sky's the limit for him, and he's only twenty two years old as Ben Carter. He has an entire career ahead of him. And the sky's the limit for this kid. It really is. And all these people saying that Ben, that ben Carter is really good. He is that damn good. He is that damn good, man. Sky is the limit for Ben Carter. And I'm really glad he's in NXT UK right now. He'll do, he's going to do really good stuff over there. Is Ben Carter. And I'm excited for that. So that. Oh. Uh, oh uh, the previous notes already. My bad, guys. And, and then Devlin starts to slow the pace of the match down by grounding Benjamin Carter. And and then Carter breaks free and caught Devlin with a roll for a two count. He 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 then he then hit a quick sunset flip was Ben Carter for another near fall, which looked really nice. Really cool spot in this match. A massive top rope missile drop kick by Carter. Springboard, which which right on the button, like and then a springboard drop kick from Carter right on the button on Jordan Devlin, which looked nice. Gets a near fall. Devlin then smashes Carter off the top rope and sends him tumbling to the outside. Champion then drove Carter's shoulder into the steps, and then he continued to target uh, the newly injured joint. And then we get the double cross body by both guys to each other. Both guys, both guys are knocked down. And then Carter hit a moonsault reverse DDD combo on the outside. And then, which look which look freaking cool. And, and then, and then Carter then plants Devlin with a spinning brainbuster for a near fall, which which look freaking brutal, man. Which look devastating. Which look freaking nasty, man. Holy shit! And and he almost beats Devlin off this. Jordan Devlin barely kicks out here. And then, and then Devlin hits a Spanish fly that. Irish up rebound Spanish fly by Jordan Devlin, which uh, which is another favorite Jordan Dev, which is which is another thing I really like in Jordan Devlin's matches. Really like that spot a lot too. And Jordan Devlin's matches as well. Devlin hits that on Ben Carter, and Carter kicks out. Then Carter fighter and and and, and then Ben Carter fire fight and then Ben Carter. Fires back with an incredible code red for another near fall on Jordan Devlin. Jordan Devlin again, Jordan Devlin, the champion Devlin again kicks out. And and that and then Ben then so then Ben Carter's building up some momentum. Ben Carter's starting to build up momentum. You can feel it. And then he goes for that uh springboard drop. Then Ben Carter, he uh and then Ben Carter, he goes for that springboard drop kick for a second time. But Jordan Devlin catches him, and he and he locks in the clover leaf on Ben Carter. The four he lock, he lock Devlin locks in the four, the four leaf Devlin then locks in the four leaf clover on uh, Ben Carter. Carter's uh, trying to not tap out. He's trying to desperately reach the bottom ropes to force a break, and he does. 
Carter manages to eventually reach the bottom ropes to force a rope break. Carter, Carter, Carter makes it to the bottom ropes eventually to force a rope break. And then Devlin took, and then Devlin took a decisive advantage. With, and then Devlin took a decisive advantage with several stiff Kawada kicks to the side of the head. And then after uh, Carter reaches the bottom ropes to force a break as well, Carter's favor in his back, and that was the turning point of this match. So the four leaf clover took a lot out of Carter, out of Benny Carter, and that, this was the turning point of, of this matchup. And then a Devlin side, a devastate of uh, a devastating Devlin side man. Devlin side by by Jordan Devlin on Ben Carter and I and Jordan Devlin gets the one, two, three. And the Irish Ace Jordan Devlin is still the NXT Cruiserweight champion. Winner and still the NXT Cruiserweight champion, the Irish Ace Jordan Devlin. Really good stuff here. Really, really good stuff here. The Devlin, the De- Devlin side on Ben Carter, man. The, the the Devlin side on Ben Carter, the Devlin side that Ben Carter sold, he sold that like a million bucks, man. Oh my god, man, my god, the way Ben Carter sold that Devlin side, sold it like a million fucking dollars, man. Holy shit, loved it. De- devastating De- Devlin side, We're in a really good match here, the NXT. Cruiserweight title for the main event of NXT UK last week with the main event with the NXT Cruiserweight title with Jordan Devlin versus Ben Carter. Really good stuff here. Now, some people may say, oh, Benjamin Carter's buried. He should have won his debut match here. Why did Benjamin Carter made a dumb decision by signing with WWE? Why did he not sign with AEW? Why did he ever sign with WWE? He loses his first match in NXT UK. Ben Carter's buried. He should have went over. Ben Carter's a jobber and a loser now in NXT UK. No, he's not. Oh, Benjamin Carter's buried in NXT UK. He's a jobber. He's a loser right now in NXT UK. Is Ben Carter. He's not. Ben, ben Carter's not a loser. Oh, but Benjamin Carter, you know, you know, NXT, no, you know, Oh, Ben Carter, he's buried in NXT UK, man. Ben Carter's not buried. Ben Carter's not buried at all. This Cruiserweight title match here with Jordan Devlin and Ben Carter. Ben Carter looked good in defeat. The match was, first the match, first of all, the match was really good. Two, Ben Carter looked good in defeat. And number one and number two. Number three. Devlin losing the title here would have made no sense. Ben Carter just showed up. But you gotta but but you gotta make Devlin look good and make Carter look good as well. And also, and also Benjamin Carter debuting in WWE for NXT UK. You gotta make his debut in NXT UK. You gotta make Ben Carter's debut in NXT UK feel important. You gotta make it mean something. You can't, you, you, like, you, like you got to make it mean something at all. You can't get, you can't, like Ben, like, like, make, like making it mean something with Ben Carter versus Jordan Devlin. Like, dude, you cannot get better than that. You cannot get better than that because Jordan Devlin's really good at what he does inside that ring. And also, the people that say Benjamin Carter's buried. In NXT UK, Benjamin Carter is not buried in NXT UK. Benjamin Carter is not a loser. Ben Carter's not buried. Ben Carter's not a jobber in NXT UK. Ben Carter is not buried in NXT UK. He's not a loser. He's not a jobber. He's not buried. He's not a loser. He's not a he's not a loser. He's not a jobber. And he's not buried in NXT UK. Ben Carter is not buried. In NXT UK. You know, there are losers and there are losers who look good in a loss. Losers are the Miz and John Morrison. That is a loser. Losers are 
t-balls and slap nuts and mice and ice cold and Mustafa Ali. All five members, all five members of Retribution. Those are losers. Losers are ricochet. That is a loser. That is a loser. Losers are Humberto Carrillo. That's a loser. Losers are losers are Angel Garza. That's a loser. Losers are Akira Tozawa. That's a loser. Losers are Drew Gulak. That's a loser. Ben Carter is not a loser. Ben Carter is not a jobber. Ben Carter is not a loser. Ben Carter is not Barry. The Miz and Morrison, Drew Gulak, that is Barry. Gulak, Miz and Morrison, that is Barry. That is fucking Barry. Ben Carter, not Barry. Very big difference. Very, very big difference, folks. Very, very big difference, folks. Really good stuff here with Benjamin Carter and Jordan Devlin here on NXT UK. A week ago for the main event for the NXT Cruiserweight title last week on NXT UK. NXT Cruiserweight title, Jordan Devlin versus Ben Carter. Really good stuff here, and a, and I and I think a good show last week, and NXT UK last week, and NXT UK a week ago. In my opinion, definitely a good show. First NXT UK of twenty twenty one, a good show, a good show in my opinion. And that's the NXT UK review from NXT UK a week ago on January seventh of 2021 the first nxt uk show of 2021 follow me on twitter at fiori nick 579 follow me on instagram at nicholas fiori 2014 and follow me on facebook at nicholas period fiori period 31 and be sure to hit that like button as well and be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that bell for all notifications so then that, so then, so then that way you guys know whenever i upload videos from the channel right onto YouTube. So turn on that bell for all notifications. Turn on that bell for all notifications. Hit the subscribe button and hit that like button for this very video as well, guys. I'm Nick Fiore, Fiore's Nation YouTube channel. I'm getting out of here right now. And thank you guys so much for joining me for the NXT UK review right here in the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. And hope you guys had a good time with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and liked the video. And I'll see you next time right here on the channel for more good content right here on the Fury Race Nation YouTube channel. Thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys later.